How can I get faster at making art? This is an issue many of us struggle with, myself included. This is also the question that my patrons ask me to cover in this video. And I get it. Sometimes it can feel like you're taking far too long to complete something which can lead to frustration, burnout, or even just giving up entirely. So let's get to it. Here are five tips to make art faster. Tip number one is the one that you're seeing right now. Stay zoomed out to block in your artwork quickly. Staying zoomed out helps you not only to cover the whole canvas quickly, but it also helps you to stay consistent throughout the artwork with things like color and rendering. This is nothing new. I've heard tons of digital artists recommending to stay zoomed out as much as possible for years, but that doesn't make it any less tempting to zoom in. So fight that temptation, at least until you get to the finer details. Tip number two is going to sound pretty lame, but it's practice makes perfect. If you really focus on improving in one area, say landscapes, then you'll naturally get faster at creating landscapes. You might still struggle with things, but if those things aren't what you do 99% of the time, then don't worry about investing a lot of time practicing them. Which leads me to tip number three. Do what you enjoy. If you enjoy what you're working on, then you'll more easily find the drive to finish it. And the more time you do what you enjoy, the better you'll get at doing it. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Well, it is. The better you get at it, the faster you get at it. You can still get frustrated with something you were initially excited to do, sure, but it's less likely than if you were working on something that sounded like a chore in the first place. I'm going to take a quick break just to say please like, favorite, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and in turn you get to see more of my wonderful stuff. But if you don't want to see any more of my wonderful stuff, then just dislike this video instead. Now on to tip number four. Tip number four is to start simple when shading. Fill in your shaded areas with a flat, dark color to understand your main light source and where the shadows will be. This can also happen during the block-in phase from tip number one when you're more confident on how you want your lighting. And while we're on the subject of lighting, here's a little bonus tip. Keep your lighting simple. Stick to one main light source and maybe a bit of rim lighting and you're good to go. The last tip, tip number five, is to use selections and to lock transparent pixels. This tip is digital specific, unfortunately, but it can save you a lot of time over the course of the creation process. Being able to only have your brush affect a pre-selected area can save you from having to erase or clean up something later. You can also do something similar by drawing or painting on a new layer, so pick whichever way works best for you. I personally like to keep a lower layer count when possible, but you may find it easier to have 2,000 layers. You wouldn't be the only one. So those are my five tips for working a little faster. I know there isn't any revolutionary information in there, but that's because there isn't any kind of hidden secret to it. Like any other skill, you'll improve how effectively you are through practice and hard work. But let me know if this helped you, and I'll see you in the next one. Now is a good time to go ahead and thank all of my wonderful patrons over on Patreon. You're all amazing and help drive me not only to create, but also to improve. Patrons receive several perks such as exclusive content, exclusive tutorials, voting rights on some of the things I do next, and other perks. I'm always trying to think of new cool things to offer. If any of these things sound interesting to you, and you'd like to support my artistic journey, I would very much appreciate it. You can find my Patreon link in the description below or on any of my social media.